Hi, it's Mr. Baumgarten here with the next video in my Make a Pi Game series. And today we are going to be using this program called Tiled, uh, the Tiled Map Editor. It is the software that we will use to make our world uh, with all of our tiled sprites and then import that into Pi Game. Now the artwork that I'm going to use is from uh, Kenny. Uh, he's got this uh, we've been using the uh, the character sprites, but we're also going to use the um, world sprites that he has created. So I have downloaded this uh, platformer art deluxe set, and I have copied it into my project folder. So I've gone through uh, all the artwork that he's provided, and I've copied in the tiles that I want to be able to access in my game into a subfolder called tiles. So I've got my, my main project folder with all my different code examples in it. I've got the assets folder with my alien sprites. And then I've created a tiles folder with all the uh, tiles that I will use inside my world. So once you've got yourself set up to that point, then you need to be downloading and install the, the tile map editor which is at mapeditor.org. And then once you've got that installed, you are good to go. This is the screen you'll get when you start it up. Uh, and so I will now create a new tile set, which I just call video demo for now. Uh, and I'm gonna use the collection of images. Uh, Kenny does provide the tile set images, but um, a couple of the sprites don't fit quite right. Um, it, it'll just be easier to use the collection because um, then you can customize which ones are inside that folder and which ones are not and just use those particular ones. So I'm using collection of images, save as, save this into your project folder. So I'm going to call this video demo. And this is the screen I will end up with. From here, I want to bring into my tile set. So add tiles uh, and I navigate to my from my project folder into my tiles folder and I'm gonna select everything. So control A on your keyboard will uh, select, select them all, click open. And I get this oversized view of them where I can scroll through and they're all here and way too big so I'm gonna change the size to about oh, even 25 percent is too big i'm going to go for 12 percent uh, and then this icon here will resize everything for you now you can see i've actually imported one of his sprite sheets by mistake so i'm just going to uh, hit the little select it hit the minus sign and now everything is properly sized and so now if i do this it res uh, that resize is much better. So I can actually make it back to 25%. There we go. That looks a lot easier to deal with. So these are all my sprites that I can use to create my world. Now I'm going to give these some custom properties. And this is information that we can attach to each tile that then inside our game Python can look up these custom properties. And so these can be integers or strings and things like that. Um, now, there, at the time I've made this video, there was a, uh, a known bug or issue with this software. Um, and well, it's either with this software or with the library that we use to import it into Pygame. I think it's the latter, uh, where Boolean variables do not work properly. So we're not gonna use any Boolean properties. We're going to use integers and strings. So I'm going to select, again, Control A to select everything. I'm going to, because all the properties I'm going to create, I'm going to give them to every tile and then just change the values on some of them. So I'll come down to my little plus sign and I'm going to create a property called solid. And this can be an integer. So I would have used a Boolean to just turn it on or off if it's going to be solid but that is not working at the moment, so I'm gonna use integer instead. Uh, and so I will treat zero as not solid and one to indicate that 
an item is solid. And in my mind, I'm going to use solid for things like walls and tile, uh, ceilings and floors, obviously, but things that my player cannot pass through. Those are what I'm gonna hit as make as solid. So if I hit, in, walk, try to walk into a wall and it's got the property of solid, then it's not gonna be able to make that movement. Uh, I'm also gonna create a property called ground. And this is more for if I am falling, this is the thing that will stop me from falling when I am touching ground. So I'm gonna make that an integer as well. Uh, and then I'm gonna uh, also create another one called climbable. And this will be for things like ladders. Uh, so if I'm touching this, it means I can hit the up key and I know I can just move up it with that. Uh, and it's not for jumping, it's for climbing. So again, I will set that default to zero. Uh, finally, I'm also gonna do one called points. And so if, again, so it's all zeros, but if something like a candy can bar here, candy canes or whatever. Um, if, I, if it's got a non-zero, then it's gonna add that number of points to my point system that I'll set up later on. I'm gonna create one called health, and this will be uh, how much a particular tile might subtract or add to my health. So if I touch something that's gonna hurt me, like some lava, it can I can put a negative number in here if I touch something like a medical kit to give me new health back, then I can put a positive number in here. Uh, and then I'm gonna have um, uh, supply uh, provides, let's call it provides, use a string, um, and I'll create the second one and then explain how I'm gonna use the two of them together. Work requires, I'm gonna give that a string as well. So it provides and requires are for objectives or, or uh, things along the way that I need to uh, collect. So for example, if I've got a, uh, if I've got a green lock that I need to be able to open, I need to collect the green key. And so what I'm gonna do is I highlight the green key tile and I say that this is going to provide the green key and then I'm not gonna click on my green lock and say, this requires the green key. And so I, I can, um, inside my program, I can create a list of strings of things that I have collected. And then when I encounter something that requires it, I can just check to see if I've got, got it or not. So let's quickly uh, set up some of these properties. So climbable items, that's fairly easy. That's uh, these letters. Um, uh, is the climbable, is the broken ladder climbable? I don't know. I'll just click it for now and deal with it later. So there's my four ladders. So I'm gonna set those as one. All right. Uh, and now uh, let's, let's select all the things that I want to be ground. So things that will stop me from falling if I land on it. So these platforms look like things that should stop me from falling. Sure, why not? Hey, uh, duh, duh. So, you know, this is where you can decide a little bit how you're gonna set it up. So I'm just holding down the control key while I'm doing this. And that is allowing me to make multiple selections. Yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly come through here. Do, do, do. Don't have to do all of this live on the video, I guess, but uh, hey, um, feel free to just skip forward a few seconds if you need to. I won't be personally upset. <laughs> um, we are, there's a lot of stuff that we want to be ground and then probably you know, to be honest, most of these things are then also going to be uh, solids. Do, do, do. Not the lava. Um, 
Yeah, I wonder. I don't know if it. If this. I feel like it having solid and. Um, ground as separate things will be useful later. But at the moment, I'm probably just going to set them all to the same thing. And then later on, I'll see if there's actually any benefit to having them as separates. So I'll set all these to ground and I'll set them all to solid for now. And I'm not going to worry about the health and the points. I'll sort that out later. So I'm going to save this, hit the little save icon. When you've got the star, you know you need to save it. Access is denied. That's always a bad sign. Video demo. Well, that's saved. I don't know what happened there. Anyway. All right. Now it's time to create a world. So new map. I'm just going to do orthogonal and uh, see, keep that as CSV and keep that as right down. Make your world whatever size you want. Pixels are 70 by 70, so keep that the same if you're using this art set. Uh, so click save as and give it a name. So I'm just going to call this one video demo. And then you've got here your world. Uh, 50 by 50 grid. So let's again resize this. And so now you can pretty well just start uh, dropping items on. Now, one little pro tip I'm going to suggest is I'm going to create a whole border of solid so that I know my character will not move outside of screen uh, once I've got solid walls in effect. Oops. Okay, so if you overdo it like that, get your little eraser, which is this red icon here, and then you can click those things there. All right, if this is too small, you can resize this somehow. Right down the bottom here. All right, and so you can move through that way. All right, and so now you basically, I'll just go back to where I was. Um, go through and create a world um, you know, using uh, using the blocks, so you can make a whole bunch. Of, oops. Uh, let's select some uh, something to use. All right, so you can make a whole bunch of platforms, put in some lava, put in some doors. All right, um, and then make sure you save it also into your project folder. Um, and I'll just quickly show you a couple that I've made, a couple of other ones. Uh, so Mr. B's awesome game. Oh no, that's the that's the tile sheet. Um, whole new world. Okay, so this is a this is a world I've created, which I, I will. So a whole bunch of ladders, some lava, some doors, and locks and things. Um, so yeah, have fun with that, and then pick it up with the next video when you are ready to go to get it happening in Pi Game. Okay, this is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.